It is hard to overstate the importance the railroads played in the growth of America, and nowhere in the 1840s was that more apparent than in North Georgia, where the railroad changed everything. In the two years since the Georgia Railroad had completed its line from Augusta to a town just south of the Chattahoochee River named Marthasville, the ragged community of railroad camps and pioneer settlers once called Terminus had transformed itself from a collection of about 200 people to a community of over 2,500. There were 30 or so large buildings, two hotels, four newspapers, and a handful of general stores. There were no churches yet, but several denominations were represented, and there were two people in the community who taught school. We know this thanks to William White, a graduate of Hamilton College near Utica, New York. Dr. White was a teacher who had come south like so many others to better his financial situation, and to our benefit, Dr. White kept a journal of his time in Atlanta. He paints for us a picture of life in fast-growing Atlanta, Georgia in 1847. The woods are full of shanties, and merchants live in them until they can find time to build. The streets are full of stumps and roots, but they are alive with people, and the stores are full of trade and bustle. There are several beautiful springs in the village, water is good, and the land is rolling. I am sure with a good building in a very short time, I could make a thousand dollars a year. Though socially active, Dr. White did not stay in Atlanta. The following year, he closed his little school and became a partner in a book publishing company in Athens, Georgia. He wrote a successful book on Southern agriculture and owned and edited a magazine titled The Southern Cultivator. He died at the age of 46. This is Lance Russell, and that is one of the stories of Atlanta.